Okay, so today we are taking the chapter 10 test on time. It does say chapter 10 form 3A. That's not the chapter, that's just the test form. So don't worry about that. At the top of here, there's going to be three parts. The first part is, you will have to read this. We played soccer. And they even have pictures to help you. But you can read this. Then you need to look at the analog clock. And you need to write what time is it. Now they give you two little lines here. These are for each of your digits. So I should look at the clock and write the hour first and then the minutes. If I don't know, everybody point to where I can look. Point. I have my flower clock, especially for the minutes. Okay? If I don't know what that minute hand is, I can look up there. Second graders, just a reminder, your short and little hand, the hour hand goes first, your long minute hand goes second. Okay? Now, if you don't forget, if you forget this next part, you will get it wrong, because some of you forgot this on your worksheet. If I'm playing soccer and I write down the time, I have to figure out, is that in the a.m., which is like all morning, or is that in the p.m., past midday? Okay? Now, down here, on number two, we went scuba, scuba diving. And number three, we made a snowman. Okay? Write the times, then put a.m. or p.m. On number four, five and six at the bottom of this page, you just have to read the time and then write the time. Okay? On the back, I know this kind of copied a funny color, but on the back for seven, eight, nine, and ten, you are going to read the time, then draw the minute hand to show the time. So they did the hour hand for you, but you have to do the minute hand. If you don't remember, count by fives or look at Mrs. Murphy's flower clock, and that will help you. Okay? At the bottom, you have to, number 13, look at the clock. And then, what time is shown on each clock? Is this quarter to, quarter past, or half past? I'm gonna circle that, and I'm gonna look at that minute hand. I'm gonna look, it's at the nine, and then I'm gonna look at my clock up there and see which one matches that, okay? Over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna look at my minute hand. Is this quarter to, quarter past, or half past, okay? Now, on number 15 and 16, I'm gonna help you up here, but then you're gonna have to do them on your own at your desk. On number 15, it says, Alex and Stanley went to a theme park at 9.15. They rolled the rides for three hours. They stopped to eat for one hour. What time did they finish eating? All right, so what I'm going to do is, in a minute, I'm going to have Mrs. Nagel give everybody a little clap. because okay, you're going to have to do this on your clock at your desk. And who can tell, Mrs. Murphy, what is the time that you are going to start your clock at? Lila? 9.15. 9.15. So you're going to make your clock say 9.15. Now, they rolled the rides for three hours. So then you're going to move your hour hand how many hours, Ingrid? Three. three. So I'm going to underline that. But they weren't done yet. They rode the rides, and then they had lunch. And how long did they have lunch for, Caden? One hour. One hour. So then I'm going to move my hour hand another hour. So really, three plus one is what? Three. Four. So they started at 9.15, but four hours later, they finished eating. So I want you to figure that out on your clock. Okay, and then write the time right there. So that's the first problem. I'm gonna leave this up here. So if you need to look up here when you get your paper to do that, it's up here to help you. On number 16, Jenna is at home. She's going to a friend's house at 4.30. Okay, so once I have that figured out, I'm gonna make the clock say what time 
Aria. Floor 30. Okay. Now, she has five hours to wait. This one should be easier. What time is it now? So I'm going to move my hour hand. How many hours, Mason? Oh, five hours. Five hours. Okay? And then I'm going to write the time. All right? Everybody understand what they need to do? Okay. Now, 